Things you do when you haven't got enough space. Let's go. I'm just pausing for a minute. Um, I nearly had a panic attack. This yellow stone I'm leaning on is older than me. It was my granddad's. It was something he made. I thought I'd just cut through it. Oh, I'm about that far off. I'm all right. <laughs> Well, considering that was the first time I've ever used one of these circular stalls, I think I've done okay. Um, I was scared to death. That is a monstrous blade. But, I'm happy with the cut it's give. Right, okay. So, here I've got all the basic blanks cut out for the uh, wine rack I'm making. I've got the two sides, the very top shelf, the shelf the bottle will stand on and the uh, the glass holder where I'm going to cut about inch hole and slots you know for the glasses to slot into so that's the basic pieces cut for the main carcass uh, I think I'm going to at this point I'm going to give them a bit of the sand and start working on getting them together All rights on wood in permanent marker. I'm guessing Bob or Jane do. <laughs> right so I've got all the pieces sanded as much as I wanted to the the client I'm building if I wanted it quite rustic so all I've really done is taken off any really offensive roughness or splintering and uh, now I'm going to start working on the layout I've actually decided not to use any fancy joints or anything like that. I'm just going to butt joint it, glue it and screw it. And hopefully uh, that'll do the trick. Not very well organised or prepared. 
but like most times when I do summer. I'm generally winging it. Okay, so I'm pre-drilling holes as we go through the bits of wood. Um, it is quite soft wood and I'm quite concerned about it splitting when I screw it together. So, you know, this is the next step of what I'm doing. Okay, so this is where I'm up to so far. Um, I've got the, uh, the top two ends secured just dry fitted with screws, I'm going to glue it up later, I'm just really fitting it together and uh, testing fits and what have you. Uh, I've got what's going to be the bottle shelf, so essentially, when you look at it, the bottle's going to be in there, like that, going along. And then afterwards, there's going to be another bit of wood going across there. And that this piece is going to have the slots cut in to hold the glasses in place. Um, so I just thought I'd film a little bit more while I'm having a fag break. I've got a little bit further on so I just thought I'd get you caught up. Right, so this is where I'm at at the moment. Um, I've got the main carcass put together, just dry fitted, no glue as yet. Um, I just wanted to make sure I got it all square. Ugh, wasp. Oh, get off, hang on. Crikey, I hate them, wasps. Anyway, as I was saying, I've got the main carcass put together. <laughs> oh, that was manly. Uh, no glue, just dry fitting. I wanted to make sure I'd got it all square and level and what have you. So what I'll do is when I've, when I've got the bottom shelf cut and fit with the glass holder slots in, I'll uh, I'll then start gluing it and probably give it another sand down. And I'm, I'm actually thinking about adding a layer of stain to it. Um, I did do a test piece. Uh, and that's the self and same wood with a bit of walnut stain on it, just one coat. And I actually quite prefer it because if you look at the comparison, it really does make the grain stand out a little bit better. So I'm it a bit brighter. So I'm thinking about staining it, but I'm actually going to ask the client if they want it stained or not first. <laughs> 